If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Really like this setup here for Frosty K's. A Valenforth's Tarnish Pauldrons, Halls of Reflection. Falric is the boss. Always like that dungeon set from Wrath of the Lich King. Moving on, the chest is straight out of the Legion PvP vendor. Fierce Gladiator's Dread Plate chest piece. I believe it's a little bit different if you hoard, so that's Alliance only. Marks of Honor. You have to basically buy the whole chest or the whole set and you can't buy a separate piece. The Grievous Gladiator's Girdle of Accuracy. Mop PvP vendor, one Mark of Honor. If you hoard, it'll be prideful, so Grievous Prideful kind of flip-flop in Mist of Pandaria. The Legs, Demonic Gladiators, Dreadplate Legards, part of the same PvP tier set from Legion as the chest. Marks of Honor, you gotta buy the whole set, but you need two pieces anyway, so whatever. Uh, Protectors of Life, Wrath of the Lich King level blacksmithing. Check your local blacksmith or auction house to get those really cool... Uh, boots with the kind of burgundy feet that really go well with his set. Rusty Frozen Finger Guards, Pit of Sauron, Scourge Lord Tyrannus, 5% on the drop rate for those. Next up, we're going to show you the cloak. There's a lot of options here. I went with the Cloak of Unending Assault, Cathedral of the Eternal Knight, Dominatrix or Dominatrix is the boss, and the head is wild if you're Alliance, uh, warmongering if you're Horde, three marks of honor to pick that up, and the weapon is straight out of Hellfire Citadel Heroic, 12% drop rate. Oopsie daisy, I made a mistake on the shoulders. These are out of Siege of Ogremar. Drop from both normal and heroic version. Uh, I believe it's the warrior tier set, but this is the lookalike that DKs and Paladin can pick up. The chest is correct, though. Chest plate of the Frostborn Hero. Trial of the Crusader, heroic, 25 man. Champion's cash, 12% on the drop rate. Moving on, got a Lady Draenei showing you the belt. Great belt of the Krendor. Speaking of wild Krendor, the Timeless Isle is the place. Ordos is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate. I do believe it drops from heroic as well as normal, but it might not. Not 100% sure. Uh, I think that's the best drop rate, though, Ordos. The Laggards are the Laggards of Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call them, my leggards. Where are my leggards? Moving on to the undead dude. Uh, as you can see, Siege of Ogremar. Malkorak is the boss. 13% on the drop rate for the boots. And next are going to be the gloves, which are out of uh, Timeless Isle as well. Uh, Chai G is the uh, world boss. Gauntlets of Cyclopean Dread. Of course, that's what I think when I look at those gloves. Got a Lady Charles show on the back, Pale Moon Cloak, Strathholm, Maliki, the pallet is the boss, or he's, I think he's by the final boss. The head, Demon Glaze Helm, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, pretty decent drop rate, and the weapon is out of Siege of Ogremar, so a little bit of Siege of Ogremar there. For those loyal viewers, yes, I have done this set before. I showcased this before, but I made a few changes. I thought I made it a little bit better. Pauldrons of Dragon Blight, Hour of Twilight. You can see the boss, 10% on the drop rate. The chest is Spider Fang Carapace out of Black Rock Depths. Headrun the Creeper is the boss, 31% on the drop rate. Next up, we're going to show you the belt, which is the Cruel Combatants Dreadplate Girdle. Legion PvP vendor, I believe that's Alliance only. Marks of Honor to pick up the belt. You gotta buy the whole set, that's the way it works. I'm just a messenger, complain to Blizzard. Sentinels, late, late. Sentinels play Liggards. Uh, Northern Barons or Ashenvale, buy from the Quartermaster for gold, so that's easy, easy pickup, worth getting. Goes with a lot of things. The Feet, Chrono Boots, End Time, uh, Morazan's Temporal Cash, 10% on the drop rate for the boots that you really can't see that well on Mr. Worgen here. Uh, the hands, gauntlets of temporal interference, end time, the echo bosses drop it, all of them do, 14% on the drop rate for the hands. Got a lady night elf show in the back, Gilded Thorian Cloak, Karazhan, BC version of Karazhan, Terrestrian Elho, 17% drop rate. Next up, the headpiece, this is out of Hellfire Citadel Mythic, 
Quorum Rock is the boss, 5% on the drop rate, and the weapon, which is out of the Broken Shore, 2,000 Nether Shard to buy that weapon. I do believe this particular set will give you a lot of leverage. It works for Blood, Unholy, and Frost. Felscribed, Shoulder Plates, Hellfire Citadel, Heroic, Quorum Rock, 10% on the drop rate, sticking with the intimidating Male Draenei, Valorous Scourgeborn Battle Plate, Naxxramas, Normal Mode, 25 Man Gluth, 18% on the drop rate for the chest. The belt is straight out of Toll Dagor, which is Mythic, the Sand Queen, Sewer Great Girdle, great name for a belt, 5% on the drop rate. Sticking with the Lady Night Elf, the legs, part of the same DK tier set from Wrath of the Lich King, Normal Mode, Next Ramus, 25 man, fight your way to Thaddeus, defeat him, 54% drop rate for the legs. Got a dude blood elf showing the cell resistant stompers, Hellfire Citadel Heroic, Siege Master Martak, low, low drop rate for the feet though, so you might have to grind it out or find a substitute. Next up, the hands, wild combatant, dread play gauntlets, wad PvP vendor, two marks of honor. If you are horde, it will be warmongering to get those particular hands. Next up, we got a lady goblin show in the back, way crest guards cloak, draws far. This is a equipment cash reward, so that's alliance only. There's lots of substitutes though. As you can see, the headpiece, part of that same Wrath of the Lich King set. And the weapon is Temple of Ankaraj, 9% your operate. Here's a rugged set, and it's got some purple to it, so that's kind of odd, but it works. It works. Grave Dredge Pauldrons, Tomb Sargeras LFR, the Desolate Host, 10% on the drop rate. The chest is going to spin you to Trial of Valor Heroic. Odin is the boss. Gleaming Valkyr Curus. Next up, the belt, also out of Tomb Sargeras LFR. Basically, you're going to pick this up from Kill Jaden, kind of a fair drop rate to get the belt. Not sure if that belt is something you could buy in the auction house. It is possible, though. Next up, we're going to show you the gloves, or should I say the legs, the Gould Rune leg plates. Trial of Valor Heroic, part of the same tier set as the chest, kind of a fair drop rate. Now we got a dude, Human Show on Defeat, Spiked Terror Wake, Great Boots, Tomb Sargeras, LFR. This is the piece that has uh, a drop from various mobs, or you could step up and you could buy it on the auction house. Next up, the hands, Grave Warden Handguards, Tomb Sargeras, LFR. Harjadin is the boss, Harjadin, Harjatan, or whatever. It's a weird name. Anyway, the back, House of Nobles Cape, Drusfar. It's a world quest reward. If you're on the Horde side, you might want to go with the Frost Guard Drape that's crafted, I believe, from. Uh, Wrath of the Rich King, <laughs> Wrath of the Rich King. <laughs> uh, you just saw where they get the helm and the weapon, which really looks cool. Dark Moon Isle, Death Metal Knight. It's a drop. Well, apparently, I made a few mistakes here. We'll correct them as I go along. Pauldrons of the Horned Horror. Waycrest Manor, Groctul is the boss, 8% on the drop rate. That, if that name doesn't say Klingon from Star Trek, I don't know what does. The chest is Prideful Gladiator's Dreadplay Chest Guard or Chest Piece, Mob PvP Vendor, three marks of honor. If you hoard, it'll be Grievous, so that's pretty easy to get. Got a Lady Night Elf showing the belt, Sharkbait Harness Girdle, not where I want to put Sharkbait. Uh, Freehold, Heroic, Sky Captain Craig, 5% on the drop rate. Next up, we're going to show you the pants or the legs, which are from the Mob PvP vendor. Prideful if you're Horde, uh, Grievous if you're uh, actually Prideful if you're Alliance, Grievous if you're Horde. Made a mistake on it. it's not the Sentinels, blah, 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 blah. Fatty Hooves of <laughs> Gory Comfort. What a name. That's what I think when I look at those boots. Next up, the hands, shark tooth, knuckled grips, freehold heroic, trothak, and a low drop rate to pick that up. Next up, the back, fetid horrors, tangle cloak, uldir, fetid devourer, 
9% drop rate. And the Tabard, Tabard of the Earthen Ring, Shimmering Expanse, Earthen Ring QM, Quartermaster, Gold, and Exalted Rep to pick that up. And the headpiece out of next round is 25 man. Kelfazad drops it at a high drop rate. And the weapon is out of Blackwing Lair from the Farian, or you can buy it on the auction house Doombringer. If you're still listening up and until now, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll close out by saying what I always say whatever it is by you, whether it is morning, afternoon, or night, make your day epic.